Hi, it's Tybug and welcome back to my channel. If you've been binge watching my videos, you may be able to tell that I've been filming these videos concurrently. And this is like the fourth video I filmed in today. <laughs> then you may have noticed my makeup and my hair, but my clothes have changed. So today I'm doing a video on Style Korea. I discovered this company through TikTok because I'm always looking for places to buy uh, genuine J Beauty and K Beauty. And this is just K Beauty stuff. So this is the brand, this is the company Style Korea, and I got a whole bunch of stuff from there. But keep in mind, this is kind of like similar to my Yes Style haul. It's from two separate orders over a span of a couple of months. So the first order I got on Black Friday, and the second order I got for my birthday in March. So the same as my Yes Style haul. So they're kind of like, it may seem like a lot of products, but I got them kind of spread out in time. And there are also some products here that I can't show you because A, I either used them up, B, I may have eaten them because they have food products, and C, they didn't go to me. I gifted them to other people. So they may be like some things I don't have, but I can talk about. So um, let's start off with... I don't actually even know when I order certain things, so I'm just gonna start off with um, makeup products because that's easy to do. So, I basically just got a whole bunch of lip products because I really wanted to try the Etude House Fixing Tint because that's basically like all anyone can talk about when they talk about like lip tints is the Etude House. So I got two of those. One is still in the box and one isn't. I've used the one in the box before but I wanted to save the box to show you guys. So it's just a very nice simple box that says Etude House Fixing Tint. The first shade I got, and this is like my staple everyday shade, is... 05 Midnight Mauve and I will swatch that on the back of my hand for you. Just a very nice color. It's very lightweight and smooth. It's not like a water tint so you can kind of see like the creaminess of it but I love it so much. It's very lightweight on the lips. It doesn't stain which is kind of nice but it doesn't transfer either. And then the other shade I have the same brand and the same sort of fixing tint formula is this shade 08 Dusty Beige. Beige. And let me just do that right next to there. So they're both kind of like in the pink mauve family, but one is more corally and one is more brownish. So that's the two lip products I got. More makeup stuff I got is the Dr. Mascara, Dr. Mascara Fixer Volume Up Curl Fix Coating Fix. And I think I got it in the, the original, not the black. And it's just like kind of like a tube and then it has the wand, yeah, it's clear. And what you do with this is you curl your lashes, you put this on, you let it dry a little bit, you curl again, and then you put your mascara on. And this is supposed to like hold your curl for a long time. And this is also by Etude House. I've tried this a couple of times and I don't know if I'm letting it dry for too long, but when I do this and then I try to put mascara on top of it, it just like feels really crumbly and like kind of stiff and I really don't like the feeling on my eyes, so I haven't been using this a whole lot. But everyone always raves about it, so I'm willing to give it more tries. I'm really trying to figure out how to use this. So if you guys use this product, Please let me know how you are doing it that works because for me, it's not working. The other thing I got is another lash product. Oh my god, these are all from Etude. I didn't even realize. But this is the Etude House My Lash Serum. And it's just a kind of like a clear serum. It's a serum that you put on. It has a mascara wand as well on like at night to like help your lashes grow to moisturize them, yada yada. I got a, my first lash serum in Japan. It was from Can Make and I really liked it, but I ran out of it very soon because I used it like every single night. And I couldn't find anything similar in like Western sort of beauty stuff, except for like grande lashes. And I don't know, I've heard some conflicting things about that, so I didn't really want to try that. So when I found Style Korea and I saw this, I was like, ah, oh, perfect, let me try that. And I really like the opportunity to put it on as a wand instead of like on my, la on my lash line. 
I don't know, I just like that better. And it feels really nice. I don't see like any of my lashes falling out. Like that's my big problem with like mascara and then removing mascara is then I see my lashes falling out. But when I use this, the day before and then the night of, so like the day before I put mascara on and then the night after I take my mascara off, my lashes have been getting longer, thicker, and they don't fall out anymore. So I really like this. Um, so this is kind of an outlier. So I'm gonna talk about this one next. <sighs> <laughs> I have to laugh at myself. So, you know those videos, and I don't know if they're ever true or not, or if they're just kind of like a marketing scheme that they're like, BTS uses this. This case, K-drama series character uses this. And I'm like, oh, they do? So I saw a video that said, you know how BTS changes their hair color all the time? And you wonder why it stays silky smooth and perfect? They use this product. And I was like, oh, give it to me right now because I've been dyeing my hair a lot and if you can't tell, my curl pattern has basically died. It's not coming back really. So I've been using this. It is the Mi Sensine Perfect Serum Golden Moroccan Oil. Um, I think I got the wrong one because I think the one that supposedly BTS uses is like the original serum and this is like the Intense Serum, but I kind of needed the Intense Serum so I like it. So it's kind of like a blend of certain oils. I think it's Moroccan oil and argan oil. It doesn't tell me on the back unless it tells me in Korean, but um, I've been using this. It's a really thick serum. At first I thought it was going to be like a hair oil, and I already have a hair oil, but I don't use it a whole lot because it makes my hair oily. But this, if you can look at it shifting the, oil, the serum, it's kind of thick in there, but it's also like it really is just like, feels like a face serum for your hair. So what I do is I get a couple of pumps of it, I, I rub it into my hands. There weren't instructions on the website for this, so I had to look up how to do it. So I rub it in my hands, I put it on my ends, get some more, and then like go onto my roots, and then like smooth my hair down. And my hair, my ends used to be like hay, and now they're kind of like thread. So like a little bit softer, but not like hair soft like, it's like thread like, but it's nice. It, Cause I had to cut off my ends before when they were like, hey, but now I've kind of like repaired my ends so I can keep the length, but like don't feel the damage. So I really, really like this. I've only used like a very little bit of, of it, like up to here, but I can tell this is gonna last me a long time. And I hope it does. Cause I actually don't remember how much this was, but I remember it was, kind of like a weird price that I didn't expect it to be. I'll talk about prices later. I know I haven't talked about the prices of any of this, but I will talk about them later, I swear. Okay, next is all skincare stuff. Let's talk about something I didn't like, because you can't always get everything perfectly. This is the VT SPF 50 PA++++. It's a sun pack. So, you know, it's kind of, it has, does it have a mirror? But there's a mirror in here, which is actually really nice. Hello. And then it has the, the, the cushion. And then you open it up and here's the sunscreen. It's like white swirled with blue. And I've tried this many, many times trying to like it because I think it's so convenient. But nine out of 10 times, it makes my skin gray. It's not like, a white cast, I just look sickly when I have this on and I don't know what it is. It's not like regular cushion serums where you press it and the product comes out. You kind of like need to swirl it because it's just like a, a block of sunscreen basically. And I don't know if it's the blue in here or the white, but something about this formulation does not agree with my skin tone. It makes me just like ashen kind of looking. I don't like it, but I've kept it because I can use it on my hands or my body. So it's not horrible, but it's not good for the face. Maybe if I wore it underneath makeup, it may be better because it's not like greasy. It's like a good formula wise, just not color wise. So I don't know. It's It would be awesome if I could use it on my face, but I can't, which is kind of sad. I'll talk about something I've used for a while. So this is the Advanced Snail Mucin 96 Mucin Power Essence. We've all heard about this. It's like the holy grail of Korean skincare. I have this and the moisturizer. I think I've already talked about the moisturizer before, so I didn't think to bring it here. But 
earlier when I was uh, ran out of my moisturizer and I needed to get like a pack of it because I didn't sell my moisturizer individually at Ulta. I got a pack of it and it had a sample of the serum because for the longest time I thought, oh, I'm using the moisturizer anyways. I don't need the serum. I'm already getting the snail mucin. Wrong. This, I understand. I understand the hype. I understand the holy grail. So I've been using that little sample size for forever. So when I was placing an order at Style Korea and I saw they had a one for one deal with the uh, COSRX products, I was like, I am gonna get my moisturizer and the serum, so, or essence. So I got this, I've just started using it out of this bottle because I've been using the little sample size for a very long time. So this is really nice, it's a thick kind of like, it's still sticky like all those snail mucin sort of stuff, but it's a thick formula, it's really nice. I see like a lot of my dark spots clearing up and then when I have acne it kind of like helps it, it doesn't make it, it helps it. It helps prevent making the acne sort of like cystic and underneath really painful. So this kind of like helps bring everything to the surface really fast. So I really like this a lot. A lot, a lot. I really like snail mucin right now. It's like my holy grail. Just the the, the formula, the ingredient snail mucin. I guess I'm going to talk about like another little topical thing. So I recently just got this. This was in my mo most recent order. This is the Goodbye Redness Centella Spot Cream. It's by Benton. It is, let me see. Benton Goodbye Redness Centella Spot Cream contains fresh Centella Asiat Asiatica Extract, Tea Tree, and Skin Protecting Calamine. This spot cream cares for stress spots, leaving skin healthy and clear. Dermatology tested. And I like the little, um, oh, you can't see it. Focus. There, you can kind of see the little pimple is like screaming. Ah! I use this during the day when I have uh, spots coming, because at night I use a retinol. So this is what I use during the day right now, and I'm running out of my retinol, so this is probably just gonna be my staple thing. But this is really nice. I, um, let me, sh let me split my bangs for a second there. If you can see that little pimple right there, this has been squashing that pimple to dust. To dust. I have another one. I had one on my chin that was starting to scar and I put this on there when it was starting to flare up again and gone. Gone. And then you can kind of see it through my makeup but I have one right there and right there and I'm wearing this on it right now. And usually when I don't have anything on during the day because I usually don't put acne treatment products on during the day. It's really painful. I get painful acne, but this has really made it so it's not painful and I don't feel the acne on my face. And I got this specifically because I didn't want something that was going to be, you know, like an active active ingredients kind of treating the product or exfoliating, um, not treating the product, but the area or exfoliating the area. I just wanted something that was kind of going to calm it down because that's really what my skin needs is because it's so sensitive. It just needs something that's really simple to calm it down. So Centella has been my go-to for like calming ingredients. And this was just kind of a mix of everything I knew is good for my skin or works with my skin. So I was like, let me try this out. And it's perfect. The only thing that could make this even more perfect was if it had lic licorice extract in it because I know licorice extract helps my skin a lot. So this is like everything and more. It it also is like a little goes a long way. It has like this little tiny applicator on the end. I know the lighting is hard to see it in, but I just like put a dot on it and it like spreads everywhere. I'm like, oh my God, I need to rub this in for a while. But I, I love this a lot. So this is all of my sheet masks. This is the Mary and May Believe in Truth Sika Hotunya. Don't know how to say that at all. Tea Tree Calming Mask for Sensitive Skin Care. I, uh, I have always wanted one of those big containers of just sheet masks that you can pull them out all the time because I see them like in all the dramas or like all those YouTube beauty channels where they're like, this is my nighttime skincare and they just pull out a sheet mask. So I, when I saw this, I was like, it's mine. So you kind of open it up and it has like, let me, let me turn down the lighting a little bit so you can see it better. So it has like a little pick that you use to pick up the sheet masks and then you pick this up and that's where all the sheet masks are. So then you use the pick to pick up the sheet mask so you don't have to like touch the sheet masks and stuff. And it's so cool. I love it. And the product itself is actually really nice. It just smells so good too. 
it just smells clean and comforting and safe. So that is what this is. I use this a lot of the time after a shower because my shower can't my skin kind of gets inflamed after a shower because I use really hot water. So this like kind of calms it all down. And apparently, I don't know what this means, but okay, and also you can use this daily. I don't use a lot of products daily because sensitive skin. But this has Centella Asiatica Extract, 10,000 ppm, parts per mask maybe? Hoituya Cordata Extract, 10,000 in ppm and tea tree extract 10,000 ppm okay cool but yeah I use this mostly after a shower when I need to calm my skin down or when I have like a lot of spots everywhere and I just want to this is great for that it's also just fun to use next product is the Laneige cream skin refiner mist this is where I'm going to talk a little bit about the prices on Style Korea and how it differs from, you know, maybe Western distributors. This Laneige Cream Skin Refiner Mist was almost like 50% cheaper on Style Korea than it is at like Sephora. I was shocked. I was absolutely flabbergasted. I also got this on Black Friday, so that may have accounted for it. Actually, let me look it up right now, prove it to you how good these prices are. Like, I did not believe it. Okay, the mist is $19. $19. Let's go to Sephora. So the mini, the mini skin mist, do they have a full size one? This can't be right. <laughs> Oh, it says standard size, but why does it look tiny? It says 2.54 ounces. How much are you? This is four fluid ounces. This ain't the standard size. This ain't the mini size. Okay. Okay, so for their 2.54 fluid ounces of the Laneige Cream Skin Mist is $27. This is like... This is four fluid ounces. That's basically three fluid ounces. This is one fluid ounce more. And that's $27. 2700, they don't even have the full size on here. They say that's the standard size. Amazing. I, I, even on South Korea right now, it says it's 37% off, but they always have it at that $19 price. South Korea has a ton of sales all the time, by the way. So, like, you kind of need to be checking all the time if you want something. But anyways, let me talk about this product first. So, this is supposed to be, like, a toner. It's a cream. A cream melts into a mist. A hydrating mist that provides ample moisture and a glow to the skin. Dry skin. Dermatologic tested. Hyperallergenic tested. So, I use this... One, I can't put on like all my skincare products fast enough and I need to like kind of moisten my skin in between. And this is like a really good, um, just like an extra uh, layer of moisture. So I spray it on. It's a really fine, super nice mist. You can put it on top of makeup, but I usually don't because I have other mists for that. But so I spray it on, I kind of pat it in and like it literally feels like a cream once you pat it in. Like that's how kind of like moisturizing it feels. like. My skin just kind of sings when I put it on. And I've been using this since November. That is how much I've used. I use this almost every day too. So I don't know, but I love this a lot. And there's been a lot of praise for this, um, this formulation, this, the, the cream skin sort of line in Laneige. And I understand why it's really nice. So yeah, so a lot of the stuff I got was kind of kind of from like TikTok recommendations and then other stuff is just like stuff I wanted. But they give the best samples. You want to see something I got as a sample or like, I don't know if it was just a gift, but I didn't order this. I got this full size eye cream. This is the Marine Care Eye Cream by Hamish, H-E-I-M-I-S. SH is a total eye care cream, anti-wrinkle, and brightening cream. I 
I thought I had messed up my order somehow because I was like, why am I getting this? I didn't order this, did I? And it's like full size. It comes with a little applicator, little roll roll. Oh, it's taped closed though. It's rolling. Look at how nice the packaging is. <laughs> and this is the eye cream. It's a full size eye cream. Like it's all fancy and everything. Look, it's a full size eye cream. And eye creams are expensive. I don't know how expensive this one is, but I like checked in my orders like, did I order this? But no, they just gave this to me. And it's a Miracle Marine water product, which I'm kind of excited to try. I have another eye product I'm using right now, but this is like, this is amazing. And then I get a whole bunch of like those little paper samples that you rip up and like has a little tiny product in it. But like I had a whole bunch of those. I got that. I was like, this is basically another order inside of an order. So I got a ton of stuff from South Korea because their deals are just so good. They have like one for one sales all the time or like two, get one half off. They just like have some crazy sales and then like they kind of alert you or like a certain brand is on sale or like toners are on sale. It's just like everything is on sale all the time. So they also have the makeup, the skincare, and then the food. The food is mostly just stuff you can kind of get like at a gas station or like a convenience store. So they have um, kind of like the instant noodles, uh, te, te balki. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I think it's the rice cakes. Um, they have seaweed sort of snacks and um, beauty sort of products. They're like um, liquid collagen or stuff you add to a drink to kind of like have, I don't really know what it is. I didn't really understand it because the one problem about Style Korea is it doesn't really have, it has descriptions kind of but like not tutorials or like sometimes the description is just all in korean so and it's like it's on a picture so you can't copy and paste it into like google translate or something but i really don't mind that because i usually just look it up and google like the product itself to kind of learn more about it but because i'm not really interested in like beauty food add-ons i didn't really um bother to look into it but one thing i did get um i i've been eating it so i can't really show it to you guys is um, one was a, a seaweed snack that had um, sesame seeds in the middle because I had gotten something similar to that in Japan but I can't find it anywhere because it was like kind of a special edition Pokemon sort of thing. But um, this one, I didn't realize it was going to be spicy and if you know Korean spicy is spicy spicy, at least for me. So I had a hard time eating those seaweed snacks but they're really good. So I don't know, maybe I'm building up my spice tolerance. Probably not, but I'm trying. So I got one of those, and then the other one I got is um, a jelly. I love jelly products. I, I, I love gelatin <laughs> or anything that's like kind of gummy. So it's in a tube, it's peach flavored, and it's supposed to be like an energy sort of thing, because if you know me, I'm low energy, so I need something to pick me up. I don't think it has caffeine in it, but it like has a whole bunch of vitamins in it, and I don't really, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know what it is. I just know what it's supposed to do. And it's kind of like tart. It's supposed to be peach flavored, so it's not very sweet, but it's like, kind of like, you know, you can kind of taste the vitamins in there, if you know what I mean. Like when you have like emergency or something, you're like, that tastes healthy. That's what the, the gelatin tastes like, but it's in like a little tiny tube. It's just like one serving size. You eat it, I think you're only supposed to eat one a day. And I don't know, I'll get like a boost from it. So I kind of like it. So that's another thing I got. So I've gotten food from here before. I've gotten um, beauty products and skincare products and hair stuff from here before. So they have a wide variety. I think they also have body products that I haven't really looked into that much. And they also have um, nail stickers, which I love nail stickers, but theirs are like gel nail stickers. So you have to have something to cure it. And I don't know where to, I think they have the cure on there for sale, but I think, I don't remember. I think it may have been too expensive or just something that I didn't, wasn't very interested in, but they have nail stuff on there as well. So they have a really good wide variety of stuff. It's good prices as well. Um, also let's talk about shipping. I live in Hawaii. It's coming from Korea and it's coming through DHL, I think. One thing I thought was kind of weird is to pay for it, you need to go through PayPal. You can't just like put your credit card information in there. I have PayPal, so I was fine doing it, but like I thought it was a little bit weird they didn't have another option. But I guess it makes sense, perhaps. 
I don't know. I don't know business side of things. But yeah, you had to do it through PayPal. So when I ordered it for Black Friday, I kind of expected it was gonna get here a little bit later because of just the demand and stuff. But I got it before Christmas. I got it, usually when I get stuff from Korea, it's like three weeks to a month. I got it in like two weeks. And I was impressed, very impressed at their efficiency. And I don't know if they like use a special provider or something or they're like, get this product to my customer ASAP. But they got it to me ASAP. -P. What does ASAP stand for? As soon as possible, possible. <laughs> so that was what happened when I ordered it during Black Friday. Then when I ordered it in March, it got here even quicker. And I was like, oh my God, this company is on it. They sent my products straight away, straight to me. It was insanity. So I got my products very quickly and I was very surprised. I don't know how long it will take to get to the mainland or to other international locations, but it got to me very quickly and I was very impressed. So that is my haul from Style Korea. I really recommend Style Korea if you're looking for a uh, K-beauty products or um, other Korean products. They have really good reasonable prices. It ships very fast and it, they have a wide variety. I know like some Korean retailers or people who ship Korean products, they kind of have like a limited brand um, range. But this has, I think, a very good brand range. I mostly got things from the same brand though, like Cosrx, Etude, Benton, Laneige. But they have a, a wide variety of other stuff, and I don't know, I'm very excited to try more from Style Korea. I also got stuff for other people, so that addressed other problems like dark spots, wrinkles, food, beauty. So I got a whole bunch of stuff for other people, and they all seem to like it, so... It's nice, and it's also really nice to know that you're getting a genuine product because that's something sometimes I worry about on Amazon is it may say it's shipping from uh, a K-beauty supplier, but is it though? Or is it just someone who says they're a K-beauty supplier? I don't know, and then sometimes I read the reviews on Amazon, I was like, this is a knockoff. So at least here, I'm pretty reassured that the products I'm getting are genuine. Yeah, so that is all I have for you guys today. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you're so inclined. Uh, check out Style Korea, and I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.